would you consider yourself a goal-oriented person? Like, you're just oh, super absolutely. driven. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think you have to be goal-oriented in life or else you're going to be kind of floating through life. Yeah, yeah. And whenever you're floating, you're not a... You don't have anything that you're actually striving for. Yeah, exactly. So then your happiness depends on the movement of the ocean. And at that point, you're going to be continuously let down. So yeah, you definitely yeah. have to have goals, have visions, have daily goals, even hourly goals, weekly goals. Uh -huh. Happiness is defined by your growth, you know? Yeah. yeah. When it comes to a potential partner, how big is it for you to make sure they have goals? It's definitely, for me, a non-negotiable, something yeah. that... I need to have, you know, we all need people with visions and, and, and aspirations and dreams and hopes and goals yeah. and all aspects of their life so that they're balanced and two balanced individuals can come together and form uh, a healthy relationship. Come on, that's, so, good. that's good. How yeah. important was that for you? I think for me, that for all, for both of us, yeah. it's super important. I think, um, you know, when you and I got together, you know, we both, we both more or less had the same dream. Yeah. Uh, we had the same dream about, you know, being an author. We had a dream about preaching. We had yeah. a dream about reaching people, helping people out. But the beautiful thing is, is that we both had a dream. In other words, we both had a vision. We had something to strive for. Yeah. You know? I only ask you this because I feel like some people may be looking for people who have the same dreams. What if your dreams were different? I mean, so yeah. good. And I personally don't believe that you have to have like the same vision. Like you don't both have, like you're a, a director. Like you don't have to like marry someone that's a director, but yeah. you have to find someone that could fully support your vision and exactly. could fully support your dream. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. as long as you find someone that can support that, like you're gonna be good to go, yeah, you know? Yeah, exactly. You both could have a dream, but if you're secure and the other person's insecure, the dream's not gonna manifest. Yeah. Why? Because gonna you're work. gonna have interruptions. Yeah. In other words, awesome. your dream's gonna buffer. Constantly. It's gonna constantly buffer. Why? Because you're dealing with an insecure person. Yeah. For instance, to be with someone like you, you, you gotta be secure, right? I mean, you're in front of models all the time, you're in front of, you know, um, certain celebrities, you know, you're out doing boring, flying from place to place. And if yeah. they don't have some type of security with within them, knowing who they are, they're not content, then eventually, it's not gonna work, right? Oh, Cause absolutely. they're gonna keep blowing you up, texting you, absolutely. where are you at? Why are you with this person? It's like, yeah. yo, like yeah. you have to learn to be able to trust me.